Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and we got the Work Sharp Precision Guided Sharpener Upgrade Kit. All right, guys, so we have an awesome box here. I can actually carry it. A really cool carrying case. We open it up, and we got everything strapped in here. Now, there should not be an actual device in here, just the stones, because I already have the... um. The system they've already sent me the system so here is okay yep so this is a spot for so i can put the system if i want to we have the manual and everything right here and then here is our stones so first off shout out to work sharp they are the most amazing people the best customer service i've ever dealt with they will forever have my business and it has nothing to do with them sending me this to to test out it has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with their the way they communicate with you and not just me i've talked to dozens over dozens i mean pro i probably talked to a lot of people and they've all had the exact same experience I've had with them. And I do that a lot. I actually communicate with people and ask them how their experiences are sometimes with companies. And WorkSharp has just been top notch, always, always the greatest people. And regardless, if I'm if I throw criticisms at a product or if I criticize something about a product, that has nothing to do with the company. Nothing at all. And I know they're doing their best. They're always, you know, working as hard as they can to make the best products for us so i just want to put that out there you know that no matter what i criticize ever they will forever have my business and my service i love these guys these guys are doing amazing amazing work for the community and they are a part of the community which is another thing i love a lot of companies you know they bring products to the community but they're not really part of the community. And, I, and I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody or anything like that or any company. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say that these guys are part of the community. And, you know, th and th that kind of helps you want to bring good products and be really good with the people and talk with the people and just be awesome, you know, when you actually are a part of it, right? Because you have a reputation to uphold and not just that, but you actually are considerate to the people that are in your group. You know what I mean? So let's, uh, let's get started on this and test this baby out. Okay, guys, so I do have videos already on the WorkSharp if you want to see a full video. I'm going to start with the lowest grit like you should. You want to start and get all your sharpening done with the lowest grit. Also, in this video, I did not get a chance to test the sharpener for the serrations. This is a little ceramic rod for serrations on the back of the strop, but I will include it in my tips and tricks video that I have coming soon on the WorkSharp Precision Guided Sharpener. So keep your eyes out for that video. This is in D2 steel. Some people have issues sharpening D2 steel. You should not have an issue sharpening D2 steel with this system with diamond stones. That is exactly, in my opinion, how you want to sharpen D2 is with diamonds. That's the way I always sharpen it. Now, I do have a little thing right here. Um, I've shown it in uh, uh, one of my other videos. This is just a little aftermarket attachment that I got to prop up underneath here. You don't need it. Um, I do like it. It just stops the arm from flexing a little bit and it just raises up like that right there all right so i'm starting with the 220 grit nice and coarse and we got the o-rings set them to where i want them i know right about where i want them already I do like the arm on this one. It is different than the original arm. As you can see, the new system, the arm is a little bit more heavy duty on 
these these new uh, rods. I like that a lot. It's another thing I like to do just in case if my clamp does happen to come undone and I want to make sure I put it directly in the exact same place so my angles don't change at all. I just kind of trace around the clamp a little bit. I've never had them come out, but I just sometimes I also double check this and make sure it's tight. Oh yeah, nice and coarse. This is exactly how, or exactly what I like to see for my first stone. An aggressive, a very aggressive stone. Because you're, you're reprofiling, you're removing steel with this stone. Now, can you just have a 220 grit edge? Of course you can. Um, I've got many knives with a 300 grit edge, 400 grit edge. This is a 220, so it is a little more coarser than I like to, to have it. So, but you can absolutely do that. It would just be a very coarse edge, but you see how fast this is going, actually. This is going even faster than I um, would have thought. So this is a very aggressive stone. I like to see that. Okay, we got just a little bit more to do here at the heel. You can push the back of this and just spin it. I like to just pull it out, spin it like this and pop it back in. Then we will flip to the 320. Having this grip progression like this, it makes it so much easier to have, to one, go through the stones and you won't spend as much time with each one, but then it also helps that final stone. You know, since it will be easier to throw the grip pattern on. It'll also be nicer when you get to the ceramic stone. Okay, I just finished up with my 400 and now I am moving to my 600 on the other rod. I like that they give you multiple rods so you don't have to keep taking it off and putting it back on. That's pretty awesome. Let's get to work. Let me adjust my washers. Perfect. Pretty good. Okay, let's go to the 800. With my ceramic, I will be using a mixture of soap and water. I just use dish soap. I put it in a bottle. I fill it with water until when I shake it, the, the bubbles expand to where you stop hearing it shake. That's how much soap I put, which isn't much. You don't need much soap. Just some soap and some water mix. It's pretty simple. You don't really need to think about too much about the how much soap or anything like that. Just add some dish soap, some Dawn dish soap and water. It works great.
All right, so now we are going to strap. Going to wipe off the edge really good on both sides. Be careful because the burr might take some of your paper towel. I'm strapping downward because that's how I would strap if I was strapping a knife across a strap, I would go backwards. So same concept, just on a system. Don't want to overstrap. But you do want to get your burr all the way off to reveal a nice clean apex. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's take a look at this edge and talk about my experience. So one thing I wanna say is that I do think this is a massive upgrade compared to before, 100%. I do think that, I think I like this system a lot. It's my most recommended system, you know, next to freehand because you guys know I'm a freehander but for majority of people a system is way easier to learn and use than freehand and this system is amazing absolutely amazing i love it i like i said i recommend it over every other system you know especially for the money you know you get this entire thing for under a hundred dollars and you know that's incredible it's incredible you can get incredible edges for for you know under a hundred dollars on all your knives now or at least on the majority of your knives now a couple of the issues i see one is that you know you do have these edges right so on certain knives it might be a little tough to get all the way to the very heel because the stone will start hitting maybe your g10 or it just doesn't possibly get all the way over there because uh, you know the edge is tight and that's on a lot of knives. So that could possibly be an issue. I did struggle a little bit with this one getting all the way to the heel. I actually got lucky and was able to hit it, but I can see that it was neglected a little bit more than the rest of the edge just because it took a little bit more care to get to. Now, like I said, I think the system is amazing and um, I do think there are little things that they could have done or one particular thing I think that would have just knocked this whole thing out of the park and I'm surprised they didn't do this. Now, one thing, I think they should sell something like this, something to prop underneath the, the arm. It helps so much from a little bit of flex. Next thing, um, I don't know why they didn't make a one clamp system that can take some of their diamond plates. They could take these plates that they make, put a little base underneath it and make a clamping system. There's already companies out there making a system that does it. They have this attachment right here. Gritomatic is making it. Um, and then that makes it to where you can use any stone basically because so many stones are, are already made for other fixed angled systems that that would have made it where they could use any stone they want on the planet or workshop could have capitalized on it and just used their own stones and they could have sold more you know their own stones put a little base on here and make it where it goes inside of an attachment that is a clamping system that can hold stones now i know they obviously wanted to be able to make it all out of plastic but that's doable too 
right here. We have, this is a 3D printed one. They could have easily made a 3D printed clamp in order to hold stones. That way you could just, you know, have one clamp, many stones, instead of all these other arms. It'd be one arm and then just one clamp. And you could just switch out the, the stones. Now, that being said, they didn't do that. They, they did this, and I still think this is amazing. I, I'm not knocking this at all. I think this is just, I think this is brilliant. Um, I do like it a lot, and I think majority of people, this is plenty. This is all they need. They you know won't need any other stones. Now, when these do wear out, um, I, I'm not sure. Worksharp, I'm sure, I'm hoping, will have replacement stones. So... If you could just get replacement stones, that's awesome. I guess, it, you know, then you'll get three stones in one, which is amazing. So hopefully they will do that where when they do wear out, because they will wear out. And um, next thing, um, but in all reality, other than that, I mean, this is a fantastic system. I love that they got the lower grits in there because that just saves so much time. I mean, this was incredibly fast, you know, considering these stones are very thin. And that's why I think it's important to have these very low grits because it is a thin stone that you're trying to remove steel on, you know, and this isn't a big knife. So, you know, if this was a big knife, especially if it was really thick behind the edge or something like that, you're trying to remove steel as fast as possible. And having a little stone, it'd be nice to have it ex extremely coarse, which is awesome that they provide now. So this does take it to another level. I, I, I love that. Um, however, like I said, I think it would be very smart for them to make some sort of clamping system that people can buy separate they can sell it separate they can make it and then people can buy it separate from this i think that that would literally knock this system out of the park you know they could like i said they could make their own stones to sell for it they you know and then you could just buy the stones and then you, you have one arm and you just switch out the stones you can sell little ceramic plates there's so many options if you do go this way now just getting this, it's still, it's an amazing system. Eventually, the stones will wear out and you will have to figure out a way to replace them. Um, and, you know, it, you know they, they're small stones. So, you know, I wear out my big diamond plates. So, you know, these are going to wear out. And, you know, you do have this, the little detent system they have in here where these, uh, you know, it rotates and it clicks in. Um, I think having something like this, you know, stops that it, it stops a lot of, uh, little tiny details that this system has. Uh, but regardless of that, taking that away and just talking about this right here, this is an amazing upgrade, an amazing, amazing upgrade. I like it quite a bit. And I think the majority of people will Actually, everybody, anybody who gets this is going to be able to get amazing, amazing edges. So that being said, thank you, Worksharp. You guys kill it. You guys always knock it out of the park. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. All right, guys, let's check out this edge. And I'm going to talk about my experience with this system and the negative things and just my whole experience with it and things I think could improve and things I love about it. So one thing, I think that this <laughs> is an amazing upgrade, amazing upgrade. This is my most recommended system, by the way. I recommend this system to everybody who asks me, what should I get? This is the best system you can get for under $100, hands down, hands down. This is an incredible, incredible system. And the fact that they have these new lower coarse or lower grit coarse stones, it just massively improves it. Because especially when you're talking about larger, thicker knives, you, when you try to reprofile a thick knife, it takes some time and it takes a lot of steel removal. So you want to start off with the coarsest stone you can have. So this helps that. It helps it make, make it work so much faster. Um, and having a stone, a higher grit stone before the ceramic is 
incredible. It makes the, the, your time on the ceramic stone so much less. So that being said, a couple negative things. One thing, these stones, they have this edge that does stop you in some cases from being able to get very close to the, the, the plunge grind when you have G10 right here. Now, I didn't pick this knife because of that reason. It just happened that this wound up becoming a little issue with this knife. Now, with other knives, it does wind up becoming an issue just depending on if it has a choil or not. If it has a big finger choil, then it's not an issue. But when your edge goes all the way back and you have G10 that goes either right up to it or past it, it makes it where you hit and then it's a struggle to get the, the, the very start of your edge. So, that that can be a little bit of an issue and I notice even on this one I was able to get it luckily but it, I can see where there's little spots where you know I you know I had to be a little bit more careful on so I didn't quite get it as good as the rest of the edge just because I took a little bit more time I was able to get it but you I can tell that I neglected that area a little bit more than the rest of the edge now Something that I really think they missed out on, and I still think that they have the opportunity to do it. One thing I think that they should do, make one of these. Make a little thing that goes up underneath here. It really helps from, from flex and everything else. These things are great, or this would be awesome if they could make something like this, or something, you know. Um, something just to prop up underneath there so that it's a little bit more solid. Next thing, I, I'm struggling to figure out why they did not make a stone holder instead of these now they could have easily made a stone holder like gridomatic is making for their system now they could have used their own stones like the little plates that they have on their work sharp they could have made these and put a little base underneath it and it would easily fit into a little clamp like this and then all you you'd have to just buy this one piece and then just constantly replace stones whenever you need and it makes it where you can use any stone you could buy um, so many different kinds of stones because there's so many different stones that are made for other fixed angled systems that are this size that are four inches so but instead of people buying other company stones they could have bought stones directly from workshop and workshop could have just made these buy this and then replace the stones then you wouldn't have to worry about this edge thing i was talking about getting near the heel you wouldn't have to worry about that and you wouldn't have to worry about a lot of different things i mean it would just make life so much easier to just flip your stones now maybe they were trying to do everything plastic right kind of, you know i know there's metal here but basically everything's plastic well they could have the, the people's are people are already making them so people are already making stone holders for their system that hold stones where you can just switch out the stones so they could have done that and then and they still could they could literally from here because this is an awesome system just the way it is so they could literally start making a separate stone holder that'll go on one of these rods where you just take the washer off, take this off, and then replace the stone holder on there, and then you can use any stone you want. Also, you can use their stones if they, they can make little ceramic plates. They could make diamond uh, plates. They already make diamond plates. So they can make diamond plates with the same diamond plates they already make, but with a little plastic base underneath it. So it rises up a little bit. Then they could also, like I said, do ceramics. They could do so many different things, so many different things. And it would just make it so much easier to just replace the stone. And you could just use one arm one arm and just switch out the stones and because the stones are going to wear out i mean that's a fact the stones are eventually going to wear out so you're going to have to buy replacement um these you know so i don't know if i'm guessing that they're going to do that they're going to have replacement stones i mean i have to imagine that they're going to sell replacement these um so hopefully they are doing that because that because eventually you're going to have to do that Diamond plates wear out. It's just the way it goes. The ceramic won't wear out, but the diamonds will. So hopefully they are doing that. But it would have taken a lot of hassle off. Um, or not even hassle, 
but I just think it would have been a lot easier just to make a, a stone holder. And I, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I kind of wish they would have asked me because I would have definitely recommended that if they, if they would have, I, maybe it's my fault. I should have went to them. I should have went to them and said, Hey guys, I, I really think that this would be a good idea for you guys to capitalize on this and make a stone holding some type of stone holder that goes on the rod where you can just switch out stones. You guys could make the plates. People would be, you know, they'd have to buy the plates to, to make it work. I just, I should have did that. So maybe this is my, more my fault than anything. Now, don't get me wrong. This system is amazing just the way it is. I think they did such a great job. I love this company. WorkSharp does such an amazing job. They make such great sharpening tools. I mean, I love their belt sharpener. I love this little field sharpener. Um, I just, I love all the things that they, they make for sharpening. They, they do an amazing job and they are an amazing company to deal with. And this system is so good. It's so good. Like I said, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, having the, all these stones like this just makes this system so easy to work with, so easy to use, so easy to change things out and, you know, flip the, the, the knife around. I mean, this, <laughs> this thing is so easy to use. Um, you know, anybody can use it. And that's what I think is so incredible. And you can take it anywhere. Now that they have that little case they sell, holy cow, you can just transport this. You can put it right in your truck. Anytime you need to sharpen your knife at work, you know, it, it's incredibly easy to use. And I think that they not only knocked it out of the park, but I appreciate all they do for the community and how awesome they are as a company. I love them and I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.